how to bring your kitchen and film your content with stunning ocean views while enjoying the weekend with your family? Whether you are running out of ideas or getting tired of the same location you're using to take your videos or you want to take a break but you know you have to upload videos on schedule and yet your family is screaming to go somewhere to stroll. In today's video, I am going to share with you how you can do it all at once. Hello, welcome to Four Lit Sky. This channel is about cooking and gardening. And I bring ingredients from my garden to my kitchen and create a recipe to share with you in my cooking videos. But today, instead, I will bring my kitchen outside and travel about 1.5 hours from my backyard to the yard of the Pacific Ocean. Let me show you how to cook lunch for the family with limited kitchen tools while boondocking next to the Pacific Ocean. Here we are driving in our van off to Monterey, California about 1.5 hours drive from our house. Monterey, California is our favorite place to spend the day during the weekend. There are three reasons why Monterey is our favorite place. Number one, the ambience is romantic, laid back, and relaxing. Number two, the views are hard to beat with a stunning Pacific Ocean and a different architecture along the coast. And number three, top-notch restaurants serving seafood cuisine. History in Monterey County runs deep in Pacific Grove. In spring, fields near the coastline turn shades of purple with ice plants and daisy flowers, which is known to locals as the purple carpet. The first time I got here, I fell in love with the place. This is the place of our first Valentine's date, and this is the place where we unite as husband and wife. And if it sounds romantic, you'll also want to check out Lover's Point Park, a manicured green space jutting into the sea at the end of 17th Street. That's where our wedding was held 26 years ago. There are alcoves in every quarter mile of this coast for you to park your cars or RVs. Just park your vehicle in one of those alcoves and you are good to spend the rest of the day chilling. Our favorite alcove is the one with the trees, but it appears that it is not available today because there is some construction going on. So we will need to keep looking for the right place to park our van. Because today is a holiday, many people are visiting the place. It is crowded today. So we ended up of going in 17 mile drive. A 17 mile drive is 17 miles of rugged Pacific coastline, widely regarded as one of the best scenic drives in the world. The 17 mile drive is a road that passes through an exclusive neighborhood and you have to pay about uh, 1070, $10.75 dollars just to drive on it. But what a neighborhood it takes you to. Not only is it full of gorgeous houses, but the ocean views are stellar. One of the tips how to get the most from your trip on the 17-mile drive is to use the place to boondock. Bring your kitchen and camp for the rest of the day. And that is what we are doing now. The best picnic spots are between Point Joe and Seal Rock and you'll find picnic tables at many stops. Local seagulls roast on the tables when no one is around so you may want to bring something to spread over the table before you eat. This time, because it is windy, we are going to eat inside our van. Our van is so comfy, even the seagull wants to join us. We love our van, this is what we use for weekend boondocking. We can convert this from dining to bed and we have a toilet at the back so functional and practical the grill has been uploaded and set up on our table and i'm ready to cook our lunch while my husband is exploring the area 
Let's scan this stunning view of our temporary backyard. <laughs> making uh, spaghetti but I forgot to bring the right tools so this one is for basically to peel the, the fruits or vegetables but instead I'm just gonna use this because as again we're camping so. our menu of this lunch is grilled steak and pork with zucchini spaghetti and grilled corn on the side the plan was to shred the zucchini like spaghetti shape but I brought the wrong tool and we forgot the camping stove so we'll make the best of what we have anyway it is camping and anyway the ingredients are the same so not a big deal all the meat are marinated last night so they are ready to grill prepare the foil and mold onto a frying pan transfer the zucchini put the two tablespoon of butter put the crushed garlic and drizzle with oregano I did not put salt and pepper because the meat has salt and pepper already. A little piece of lemon, like that. Wrap the foil around it and put it on the grill for about 10 minutes. Our steak is done and smells so good. This steak was marinated with lemon, salt, pepper, garlic, and mixed Italian herbs. Grilled for a total of 20 minutes. And the secret of good grilling is to pliff over every five minutes. All the grilling is done and we are hungry and ready for lunch. Let's go to our camper van. Here's the pork barbecue, beef steak, the best steak I ever taste in my entire life. That is according to my Unico Iho. The zucchini is so tasty and perfectly grilled and perfectly matched with our steak and barbecue. Corn is so sweet. Lunch is perfectly served. Everybody's happy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. After lunch with this stellar view, we took a nap, read the book, and chilled. Because we stopped in the middle of a 17-mile drive to Buntak, we now driving to complete the 17-mile driving. We will be exiting from the other side, which is the Carmel side of the park. Along the way, we stopped at the Lone Cypress Park to take my selfie. <laughs> then we continued driving, enjoying the scenery while having a conversation with the family. probably the price of our house <laughs> which is two million huh how much does our house cost our house cost oh he's asking how much is our house cost 1.6 million some houses here are about 50 million 20 million yeah this so area. this area right here you gotta have some serious bucks okay it's funny, people have so much and some people are homeless. I know, it's not balanced. It's a market here. Yeah, Do you think there's barely. a coffee here? Yeah. Do you want to park there? Then we stop at the market located along the 17 mile drive, get some cup of coffee and explore the place.
The market is about 10 minutes drive to the exit gate to Carmel by the sea. So let's enjoy more of the views. Keep right. We are now entering Carmel. Carmel by the sea, Ocean Avenue. One house here is enough for me. This one, this is cute. I like that. There's so many cute houses. How much is that? We are now driving on Ocean Avenue in Carmel. This is the main tourist destination of Carmel where the boutiques and shopping stores are located throughout the avenue towards the ocean. We decided not to stop by in Carmel because it is late in the afternoon already and we are going to drive home. We are driving in the opposite direction of the ocean to reach Highway 1 to go home. It is so entertaining watching people strolling and cars rolling. And that is for today guys. I love accomplishing things in one. Today I had quality time with my family. We did boondocking. We drove to a 17 mile drive and chilled by the Pacific Ocean. With a stunning view, I got to film my content for my YouTube channel and be able to upload my video on time. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe, click the notification below, and smash the like button. And please don't forget to share. And now, back to my backyard.